us about coloring vertices, but we could also ask about coloring edges. In this video, we'll be discussing coloring edges. Now, just like with vertex coloring, we might insist that edges that are adjacent must be colored differently. Here, we are thinking of two edges as being adjacent if they are incident to the same vertex. The least number of colors required to properly color the edges of a graph, G, is called the chromatic index of G. And it's written like so. So that is the chromatic index of G. Hey everyone, real quick, I just want to mention that this video is a part of a whole course that I made. You can find a link to this entire course in the description below and make sure to click on that subscribe button. All right, let's do an example together. Six friends decide to spend the afternoon playing chess. Everyone will play everyone else once. They have plenty of chess sets, but nobody wants to play more than one game at a time. Games will last an hour, thanks to their handy chess clocks. How many hours will the tournament last? Okay, so to solve this problem, we're going to represent each player with a vertex and put an edge between two players if they will play each other. In this case, since all six friends are playing each other, we get the graph K6, which looks like this. And I'm going to try to kind of even this out a little bit because there are a lot of edges here. There's that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge, there, 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 there. Almost done here. And last but not least, boom. Okay. We must color the edges. Each color represents a different hour. Since different edges incident to the same vertex will be colored differently, no player will be playing two different games, or in this case edges, at the same time. Thus, we need to know the chromatic index of K6. So we're trying to find this number here. Now, notice that for sure, the chromatic index is going to be at least five. We're going to need at least five colors since there is a vertex of degree five. They all have degree five, and so it turns out five colors is enough, though. Now, I challenge you, find such a coloring on your own. Pause the video and try to do this on your own. So therefore, the friends will play for five hours, and I'm actually going to represent this as an equal symbol now. Interestingly, if one of the friends in the example left, the remaining five chess leads would still need five hours. The chromatic index of K5 is also five. In general, what can we say about chromatic index? Certainly, we know that the chromatic index in general, and actually, I'm going to uh, write this separately. We know that the, that's not what I want to write here. We know that the chromatic index is always going to be greater than or equal to the maximum degree of the graph. But how much higher could it be? Well, only a little higher. Vising's theorem. states that for any graph G, the chromatic index is either the maximum degree of the graph or the maximum degree of the graph plus one. So I'll write that out. For any graph G, the chromatic index I definitely spelled that wrong. <laughs> chromatic index which is denoted like so, is either the max degree of G or 
the max degree of g plus 1. At first, this theorem makes it seem like the chromatic index might not be very interesting. However, deciding which case a graph is in is not always easy. Graphs for which the chromatic index is the maximum degree are called class 1, while the others are called class 2. Bipartite graphs always satisfy class 1. Um, in 1965, Vising proved that all planar graphs, such that the max degree is at least 8, all planar graphs with that are of class 1. But this does not hold for all planar graphs between the max degree of 2 and 5 inclusive. Vising conjectured that all planar graphs that all planar graphs with max degree 6 or 7 are class 1. The max degree 7 case was proved in 2001 by Sanders and Zhao, and that's actually very recent in math research. The max degree 6 case is actually still open. So if you're interested in... Oh, that's a black in the background. I don't know why. If you're interested in making some awesome research... Solve that, prove that case, uh, show that the max degree equals six is either um, uh, the, where the chromatic index is going to be either the max degree or the max degree plus one. That would be very interesting. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.